why you're objecting to that slave bracelet. Buy one for all my friends. I used to wear two or three of them myself around my ankle in the old days. Everybody wears them. Ma chère, please. I'm bored hearing about the Stone Age. That's where these rocks came from, lover, and don't forget it. Darling, uh, give Lily a shot for her bronchitis, huh? Of course, Miss Frayne. The, uh, sea air. I don't know why I live here. Well, I thought you liked the beach, Miss Frayne. Oh, I do, darling, I do. But it's so boring. Nothing to do, night or day, but go to bed. Why don't you make another picture, Miss Frayne? I thought you were great in Salambo. Lubitsch did too, darling. Lubitsch did too. We were giants in those days. Now you could put the whole bunch under a card table and nobody'd muss a hair. Did you ever see me in Salambo, darling? Sorry. I wasn't born then. Well, I was only 11 myself. They called me Little Lily Frey. I was the first child star ever to be chased around a desk. Prince, please, let me explain. I told you I was willing to listen to what you had to say. That's Vanessa. why I'm here. It's been ages, darling. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. You remember Peppy? We played fourties, tennis. He's the boy with the marvelous chop. Oh, yes. Chunk. And, uh, who is this? I don't think I've seen him before. Or have you been hiding him on purpose? This is Mr. Farley, Miss Frayne. You must be in pictures. Or you should be. I've had a couple of lines and done some extra work, but I don't think I have the talent for this 24-hour acting that seems to go on around here. My dear boy, one does need a little talent in this business, but uh, not necessarily for acting. <sighs> we are late. I don't want to lose the table. Chris, do you mind telling the head waiter we're here? Not at all. How exciting for you, Angel. He's a little rude, but so virile. Some people are just rude, period. Pay the man more share. Life can be so boring. I adore the clean-limbed American type, too. But somehow I always end up with veal scallopini and sideburns. Leaping to conclusions again, Lily? What else is there to leap at, except men? One keeps me in condition for the other. Oh, but Chris is quite independent. I mean, he's taking care of my beach house, but uh, he also works at studios. My dear, that's a mistake. Never let them have a career. That's the one thing I've really learned about men in Hollywood. Success goes to their little heads. And one morning, they're off with the car and their gold cufflinks in your heart, and that's that. Keep them sharecropping, dear. It's the only way. Tote that barge, lift that bale. But, uh, if he's not taking care of your cottage, as you like, send him over to me. I have a little property, too. Your table's ready. Chris, wait! Bully vous la dernière, ma chérie. not to talk that phony French. Sounds as though you're calling me an old cow. Which you probably are. Your table's ready, Miss Frayne. This way, please. 